Researchers suggest we have 30 years, just 30, to double our food supply. And a local university says innovations such as robots will make it happen. Channel 2 meteorologist Brad Nitz now here with how robots and drones are doing genetics research to help. Yeah, agriculture scientists told me that we must be more efficient with the farmland we already have by breeding plants that produce higher yields and can withstand drought and high temperatures. A short drive in any direction outside of Metro Atlanta, you'll find fertile farmland. But Georgia Agriculture Commissioner Gary Black says there's not enough of it. The arable land that is in production worldwide is a finite resource. Black says unless the agriculture industry worldwide increases production in the next 30 years, a lot of people could go hungry. We're very certain that we've got to increase food and fiber production somewhere between 70 and 100 percent to feed this globe. Aside from a limited amount of farmland, pests, disease, even weather can greatly limit how much farmers can produce. For generations, strong plants have been bred together to increase yields, but it can take years to discover which genetic traits make some plants more resilient than others. Dr. Changying Li is a professor at the University of Georgia's College of Engineering. His team is developing robotic technology to monitor crops for geneticists as they're maturing. They don't have time, they don't have human power to measure all these plants, thousands and tens of thousands of plants manually. Today, they are observing young cotton plants growing on UGA's Iron Horse Farm south of Watkinsville. A crop spraying tractor retrofitted with sensors and cameras monitors growth patterns and data. And this cart, manned by students, is gathering other critical information on the young plants. That information helps geneticists to identify genes that can choose specific traits more precisely. In the second year of their program, Lee's team is now using unmanned technology to monitor crops. This drone is equipped with three cameras to measure temperature and make 3D models of the plants. Thermal camera basically can tell you the drought resistance, the canopy temperature of the canopy. Lee's team is working on GPS and computing technology for ground robots as well. Their goal in the next year is to deploy a fleet of air and ground robots all working together to gather in-depth genetic information without the need for manpower. Information Commissioner Black says will make better farmers. A prescriptive use of technology that's going to help us meet this objective of, of feeding the world uh, in 2050. Now, researchers at UGA told me their next obstacle is managing the vast amount of data they're collecting. Last year, they collected 30 terabytes of information. This year, they expect to collect a petabyte of data. That's 1,000 terabytes. And it's interesting, the collaboration between the, the experts that mine the data and the engineers that are experts in robotics and the geneticists all collaborating to, to really meet this one incredible need. And just interesting how technology is impacting farming. Yeah, I the mean, drones, the yes. robots, it's, it's just all very fascinating. Just to get food. That's right. All right. Brad, thank you.